All right, this is going to be my first run on... Jesus. Green Acres. Am I going to die right away? No, I didn't die right away. Uh, that was lucky. And I do not like any of these that much. I'll take the Magic Wand, though, because we can always combine it with the Tome later on. Uh, trying to go for just like a really strong full build here, but I honestly have no idea what I'm going up against. I know how to build Dom, though, or the way that I like to build Dom. I just discovered it earlier today. So we're going for that good Pope build. Uh, he's very good with uh, the Bible. So I think we're going to go for Vandalier. Of course, some guy will look at this later on and say I built it all wrong. It's fine. You pick whatever you want. I don't know if there's really any objectively best build yet. But so far, I've liked him and Mort. We'll see if we can keep taking that Ebony Wings. But we got to... We got to get this Bible up into Unholy Vesters ASAP. So we want to try to build as few things as possible. We need a Spellbinder. That would be nice. And man, I'm already liking this. I, you know, I was a little tired of the original level, but this is different enough from the, uh, this Green Acres is, is, is very nice. Very relaxing to be here. I'm liking it. There really isn't as much terrain about though too, I guess. Has Ponkel like added as much terrain or maybe I just haven't gotten as lucky in finding it yet. Okay, there's some angry boys here. These guys are like tree chunks that are surprised. I, I still am trying to figure out what so many of the enemies in this game are. But ideally, we can get projectiles on the screen for a long time, which kind of necessitates, me thinks, like a rune tracer build, don't you think? Are they mud golems? Do they have a name? Is that what they are? Man. I feel like I've been living under a rock. Or living under a, a mud oak, uh, whatever it is, which I immediately forget. Well, there we are. Um, we still aren't fully upgraded yet, though, so this won't be the best run ever. But, hey, I mean, if I manage to beat Green Acres, that would be nice. King Bible, uh, another King Bible, Ebony Wings. I think just go straight for the Bible here. Uh, the After that, the Magic Wand. But if you manage to upgrade the Bible fully, it covers both area of effect and boss fights, too. Always still trying to build, like, some stuff for area of effect. And then some stuff for just concentrating on one guy. You can do that with either the knife or this. Okay, so let's see. Now we need to make a choice that I didn't actually want to make. Um, didn't we say Clock Lands? It was actually pretty OP with... Um, uh, with, what's his face? With Dom. A tract orb would be nice. But what is Dom's thing again? Mm. I mean, he's it's good because his duration of effect lasts for a long time. So yeah, so let's do duration. Because we want the Bibles to be up for a long time. And we, we're kind of building a duration build right here. Where we'll go Rune Tracers... If we had bones, like if we could somehow combine Dom and Mort, that would be nice. But I don't believe that you can actually pick up bones. I think that's just a Mort exclusive. So, unfortunately, we have to do that. We don't want to build Candle Labrador, probably. I don't think it would be the end of the world, but here we go. Man, I'm liking the music that they're adding to the game. This is really nice. And I've slightly lowered the, uh, the sound volume just so that people don't get an aneurysm when they're listening to this stream because uh, it can get quite loud, even if it's even if it's quiet right now. Stuff just gets to be too much action to remember later on. I've also turned off damage numbers because, for God's sake, there were a lot of damage numbers on the screen. Okay, Duplicator is going to be a move, and we also don't have a bottom item yet. Uh, yeah, we get the clock line set up there. That's fine. More projectiles, faster, lasting longer. Um... Wondering what we'll do in our top slot for some of this. We might do knife. The thing is that at, at this point, I can see about 80% of the build, the way that it's going to go. But I still can't, like... It's it's not like I have a master plan all the time, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, a, I'm not the master. I know sometimes you might think that I seem like I know what's happening around me, but usually it's just that I have some idea of what's going on around me. I don't have a master plan. But, but alas. Alright, is there a good reason to... Uh, yeah, we'll take a chest. There's no real reason to wait. We're not near evolving anything. Okay, not what I wanted, really. But, uh, you know, say what you want about the freeze ray. Uh, it's... I think it's okay. I think it's okay. 
more projectiles all around duplicator is quite good. Uh, maybe I could have saved that for options. Well, we don't. We also don't know what we're going up against, so I don't want to make a mistake here. All right, uh, empty tome. We do want, so I'll take it. Uh, we're pretty much doing a lot of universal upgrades and just making a few things really powerful in this run. Like Vandalier is going to be super powerful. The Unholy Vesper is going to be really powerful. Um, and then along with it, we took the Magic Wand. We could have taken the Knife instead of the Magic Wand. Arguable which one's better. But good. Yes, more Bibles. Yes, you are spiritual but not religious. Now taste Bible. Take that. Santa water? I could do dumb. I could I do Santa water? I'm everyone's kind of eschewing to see the Santa water today. I don't want to take Pomerola uh, because I find that unholy vespers and garlic is kind of redundant. Uh, the Santa water is definitely not bad, but there's other things that I'd prefer. Or what is it, Labola? Santa water is not bad, but there's other stuff I'd pick over it. You know what I mean? If I had somebody who really needed a tractor for some reason, uh, am I going to take spinach? Ultimately, maybe. I would kind of... Well, let's see. Now I can start to see the whole build out. Okay, there's not really anything that's going to pair with a Vandalier, and there's not anything that's going to pair with the Clock Lancet. So I'm thinking spinach we might want to lock in right here. Although it would be nice to get another Bible... Trying to think of what other stuff I'll need. Yeah, I mean, if I just went for that, we could go for a knife, a bracer, a spinach. So the bracer and the spinach takes up that. We don't really need anything on the bottom. We do need the spell binder, though. That's true. Spinach for fire isn't bad, but I don't want to get the fire wand. I'm not a big fan of it. I think I'm going to keep on waiting only because I want to get upgraded Bible ASAP and that level 6 Bible could come in handy. I might not necessarily need spinach. I could also just go for a whole other weapon set too. I think what I'm going to do is build straight to Unholy Vespers and then I'll try to get Vandalier up. Uh, I used to think that I had to wait longer for it, but now I think I'll be fine without. I don't really want whip. I'm not a big whip fan. And that kind of gets rid of hollow heart as an option too there's supposedly there's some builds that are really good with whip i don't think whip is bad but i think that there are things that are better uh, i'll do king bible yeah there we go nice 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 liking the greater enemy variety though in this green acres this is definitely different definitely a little bit different the bible is super op <laughs> have you ever just been in Oh god! It's like I went to uh, it's like I went to Catholic school as a kid, and <laughs> you just raise your hand. The Bible is super OP. Man, this game is gonna get people so much more interested in their religion. What like an absolute like victory of family values and the uh, and the community unit. Ah, oh, love that, love that. The Bible is OP. The ah. <laughs> uh... This is a funny game. Though I do kind of miss, like, these uh, wild themes. Oh, yes, Spellbinder. Okay, good. I wish I could do level 8 Bible, but it, you want to lock it in. Um, I mean, this really brings me back to play this game. Like, I love Castlevania. I played so much Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. I think I've played through that game, like, four or five times. It's my favorite Metroidvania, along with Super Metroid. Just the best work of Koji Igarashi. The Bi <laughs> So said Jesus. The Bible is super OP, guys. This book that hasn't been written yet. Jesus. Uh, ooh, this is not a great pick. Um, what is going to give us more options? I think Empty Tome, because the clock lancet is closer to being done. The mind is furnished with ideas experienced by the... Uh, with uh, I didn't read that right. The mind is furnished with ideas by experience alone. That's uh, true. And also emotional damage is something that you usually remember. Um, a little a little dark, but yeah, that's true. That's true. Right on, Tysker. My Bible is iron binded to show that heretics the point. <laughs> Very well, thank you for the 85 bits. Hmm.
Man, these, like, suicide enemies are kind of... Well, they're also their realistic explosion throws me off. I think it's meme and funny, but I really think they should probably add a different effect to the game. Look, we're getting Bibles on Bibles now, people. Oh, so good. Nothing I really want to lock in. A track door, but I'm fine without. Since this character gets so powerful, he doesn't really need a track door. And also, a track door is kind of like a testament to impatience. Except for certain builds that need it. Like, if they can't get anywhere near it, and if you constantly find yourself running away. But then you should probably just build up more damage. Look at all that Bible. That's good. That is good. Okay, now I kind of want to see the damage numbers, don't you? It would be nice. It would be satisfying. Later on in the game when we can't see anything on the screen. We'll turn those off again because those can be quite detrimental to our health. Um, you all may need to go see an eye doctor after this, uh, after viewing this, if you watch this entire stream. <laughs> I, I kind of want to save myself some options later on. But I also want to upgrade the, yeah, I want to upgrade that as well. And especially if we get a bad boss, so we'll do it. Turning off flashing, yeah, maybe we'll turn off flashing VFX. But we'll leave on the damage numbers. Okay, that's a little bit better. But then it's also slightly less exciting to, I don't know about you, but I enjoy it when the game just does the maximum damage to my eyesight. You know what I mean? Like, just, I, like, a tri like I need to schedule an appointment after playing the game. Like, oh no, I can't see anything. I've been blinded by how good it is. Generally speaking, that's a game that will keep me coming back if I need surgery after I play the game. <laughs> like, when you're 12, you know? My god, today's kids. Okay, bracer I actually want. I don't necessarily even care if I get the knife with it. D yes, just, you know, this is like that Dr. Seuss, I can read with my eyes shut. Very unhealthy. Probably un uh, lie. Now, the reason I'm taking this is because I want to be able to shoot out projectiles faster. I want these Bibles as, like, a solid wall. Like, breaking through the sound barrier, how quickly these Bibles go around me. And just so many Bibles, too. Like, Duplicator, it requires only two upgrades. But look at how quickly those took out. we took out those bats. So good. Would be a great time now to get a, uh, a magnet. And then hopefully we'll get into more of those runs where we respawn after we get killed by the devil. Because supposedly there's like a whole other game lying in wait after this that we haven't even discovered yet. Hmm. Yeah, my dopamine levels are dropping too. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back on. My god, what is happening? What the hell is happening? What is that? What did I do? Do I need to turn it back off? Nope, I am just totally screwed. I don't know what happened. Hang on a second. Oh my god, how are we going to ever overcome this? Return. How do I get out of this? Did I unlock the, the secret mode? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Enter, return, escape. I'm pressing all of the buttons. No, I broke it. I broke the game. All right, maybe we could just play the rest of the game like this. La la la, I unlocked the secret mode. You guys are doing it all wrong. What happens if I unlock another thing? Okay, good, it's back. <laughs> oh, that was really great. I was a, a little worried there for a second. All right, now where were we? <laughs> um, let's see, we got an ax. Well, we aren't planning on going any further with that. Phew, that was, that was, uh, that was a relief. I thought I had unlocked something secret. I, I've seen a lot of interesting bugs in this. Uh, it, maybe it's the full screen mode that I'm in. It could be that very well. All right, we want to spring for uh, Vandalier. I just got to kind of collect my thoughts after that. That was very distracting. Fortunately, I didn't take any damage and I'm fine. This is good. See how quickly my Bibles deal with everyone. That's nice. Ooh, red orb, red orb. I missed that. Come on, get out of the way. I need the red orb. My god, they even have slight knockback, the Bibles. I didn't notice that until we got up to these plants. Come on. Fight me, Mantis. All right, now I want the damage numbers back on. Show me it all. Show me it all. It is somewhat informative. 
Uh, whoops. I was so... I was like, uh... I was... Ah, uh, there we are. I have no excuse. I just wasn't paying attention. That is a very fast way to get on Holy Vespers. Okay, now it's going to stop for a second, and then there we go. Alright, we just doubled our damage. Alright, now we can pretty much just stall till Vandalier. Uh, do we want the garlic? Do we want the garlic? We can probably take two more weapons. We could take knife because we've got the bracer. I'm trying to think about what we want. Um, people want to see Santa water? I mean, we could get a tractor, but it's kind of a weakness of this character. All right, if everyone's pressuring me into getting this... Well, actually, no, I'm going to defy you for a moment, though. Is there any other weapon that would be good? Some people like Santa, some people don't. Santa what I, I, I really just don't think the Santa water is that good because neither it nor the attractor is good. I would rather get um, Although I hate the weapon I would rather get spinach and magic fire instead if we can get it Axe is nice, but I don't know if I want to get the uh, area So I think I'm just yeah garlic. I'm not as big a fan of so I'm just not gonna take any of that A shame that I can't lock in something else, but I have other things I would rather do we don't need you. We don't need you. Uh, I'm, I do need you. I'm, I am just kidding. Hmm. But look at how quickly I take out even these powerful plants. I'm a little concerned. Can I... Yeah, I can't necessarily walk straight and fast yet into strong enemies. And I am going to need more of that. Uh, stone mask I don't want. Now I want to uh, upgrade the ebony wings. So we're good with that. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, basically everything for Vespers and uh, and the what will be Vandalier. All right, so we'll do that. And since we aren't going to do the garlic, we won't take Pomerola. It's good though because I, I like this game because it feels like there's no wasted items. The one I haven't really figured out is I haven't figured out the Laurel, I haven't figured out the Whip, and I haven't figured out the Hollow Heart. But those are just about the only three. I also think armor is a bit of a waste. But if everything were good, then that might also be kind of a buzzkill. Uh, again, I defy you, chat. I'm not going to do ebony wings. But do I take the knife is the question. I really don't think that the knife is a good item to take in general. But I know I'm going to be taking spinach and fire wand. Uh, only just because I already have the bracer. You know what I mean? I know the knife is trash, though. Let's just wait and see if there's anything better. Santa, what are, I know, but I have the bracer there, and it would fit so nicely, you know? Maybe I'm just doing things for an inner sense of satisfaction. I'm probably going to mess up the build at this point, but I still think that, like, Vespers alone is enough. Uh, along with what I'm already taking. Let's take Fire Wands just so that we can get the... Do I even want that? I mean, I could just do lightning, and then I could do all passive effects. Lightning is pretty good. Oh, or I could do the rune tracer. I was going to do the rune tracer. So let's wait. Let's do fire wand. Yes, fire wand. Rune tracer. I know what I'm doing. If I manage to get the poles. I want fire wand. I want rune tracer, which I haven't gotten yet. Uh, and I want spinach. And then, like, one other random item. Which will just be... Probably end up being whatever I get stuck with. Uh, we'll take whatever's at the lowest level, just so that we can kind of keep our options open until we roll the things that I want. Fire Wand, I don't like its randomness, but it can clear out paths, and I think it does a lot of damage. Like, it does great damage, but you just have to get lucky when it hits something. Do we want to take this yet? Uh, I could take it gonna be a while oh wait, I didn't even notice that I had the wand ready okay nice so yeah we are ready for anything area of effect bosses we're good I uh, don't want Pomerola I'll take the lower level there we go I think I, I think I figure out my decision making in this game now uh, and then we'll try to get Vandalier as fast as possible so that we can get that uh, that good what what else are we even looking? Oh yeah, Rune Tracer, I said. 
That would be amazing. Uh, how can I be so into a game with such simple graphics? I don't feel like graphics make the game. I feel like uh, the game is just there and then the graphics are kind of there to complement the game. I don't know, this kind of makes me feel like I'm in a bygone era. I consider the graphics of this game though to be pretty amazing. Like very realistic graphics. You've never seen these things happening outside of your door. Like you've never opened up the door and you've seen a, the Pope. I mean, come on guys, Popes have the, a job too. Yeah, he's working very hard trying to exercise demons from our lives, so. Very realistic game, realistic graphics. Don't question it, okay? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not throwing hands with this. This guy looks like he's just having a very bad night. What a bad night to have a curse. And it brings me back to that good Castlevania, like I said. You know. Mm, armor, I don't really want. I'm probably going to get stuck with an item I don't want for there. Spell, okay, it doesn't make much of a difference now. Yeah, Rune Tracer on Dom is pretty good. I, I do hope that we get a Rune Tracer. It'll be nice. But we got to build up on that first. Yes, this game... Guys, this is actually me using live face cam. I haven't told you anything, but uh, Dom is uh, is me. He is a, a pixelated version of my face. I just happen to have a very pixelated face. This is all. I've been insecure about it for many years. This is how I do a, a gradual face reveal over time. Uh, please, I, you know, I was, I know it's a little avant-garde this way of, you know, uh, of showing you, but it is what it is. I don't even know. I feel like I don't have words for this anymore. This game is just so much spam and it's so good. My fear though is that the game will like burn out very fast because there's just so many people so interested in it right now and I've it's very rare that you see this kind of thing happen to a game. I think it happened with Isaac when the original Isaac came out. Uh, sort of. That it was a much bigger hit, I think, than Edmund McMillan anticipated. I'm going to take the spinach. Yeah, I have a very pixelated face. Don't, uh, you know, I've always been very insecure about this, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. I'm trying to figure out who, uh, who loves me because no one else will there are no pixelated people hmm. alright I'm, I'm I'm looking over at chat a little too much I, I think I might get myself killed here it seems to me as though the red or proportion oh yeah but on the game's uh, like short lived well who knows maybe I'll this game will have a lot of sequels or something like that I never know it seems like the kind of thing that could go pretty far though I'm like you got a lot of, it's got a surprising amount of traction in very little time. I'm kind of amazed. It's kind of like a game dev's dream, I'd imagine. But look at how quickly the Bibles are hitting everyone. Man. If only someone could hit me with a Bible that fast. Like, I've really been looking for my soulmate, you know? Like, the person who can really take a good swing at me and... People will probably burn out due to lack of content now. Nowadays, they always need more. Yeah, but then at the same time, yeah, you're right, you're right. Though, the th I was thinking that too. But my other thought is that this game might lead to, like, exponentially more content if the dev adds, like, one thing. Kind of think about, like, how Ed... Um, ooh, this is not good. Darn it. All right, so we're stuck. I think we're gonna have to take armor. I would take Anda Labrador, but I don't like it with the... Uh, actually, what do we think? Do we want armor or Canda Labrador? I'll let you guys pick. Uh, yeah, I just, I like being beaten with books. Everyone's saying, can okay, I'll take Canda Labrador because the armor is gonna be pretty much useless. It's gonna, word of warning is that it's not as good with the Unholy Vespers because it makes it bigger. But I'll probably win this one since I've got the birds, yeah. Um, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. And a little bit more area is going to make all of my projectiles larger. I was hoping I would get the burbs for that. I'm going to need more burbs. Alright, uh, eh, give me options. I'll take another candle Labrador. I think I'm getting a little bit more of how the decision making. Oh, this is very nice though. 
like it's it, everybody loves a good system like this to figure out. Like games that I get very into are like team fight tactics. I I know I wince to say some of this. Not really a lot of the stuff that I play on the channel because when I play a lot of stuff on the channel, I'll often get into like stuff kind of akin to Hearthstone and whatnot. Um, I haven't played Hearthstone in a while, but I can tell that it's the type of game I would get addicted to. Uh, but this is definitely up that tree. <laughs> hmm. I'll take the spinach. Oh, did I ever play Super Auto Pets? Super Auto Pets is one that I uh, I got into for a few weeks. I, I actually didn't stream it ever. I think I was going to stream it at one point. So yeah, Slay the Spire is definitely another one up that ladder. I would love to stream more stuff like this. I can't think of how I would make a good video narrative on it. Um, might make like a review on it. Um, slay the Spire, but it's also just... You know, I find that it, it's, it's good to keep a part of gaming that you just don't really present to anyone. That is just kind of like something that... Is, like occasionally I will just take a, a couple days off and just like play a game just like for the sake of enjoying it for myself like not really thinking about making any video on it and like this is one that I I would say that I like more at the moment than like necessarily playing a simulation game but if I take a break from simulation games for a while I do really feel like playing them again like if I take a month off from that I, I will really want to play the new stuff but yeah there's definitely times where you get tired of playing games um but yeah, you just try to do other stuff. I think I've built a lot of that into my life, though. But, you know, it's like, it's... I think people are aware of it now. But it's, I'm not trying to say, like, poor me, I play video games, and, uh... Uh, it's so hard, so difficult. But, um, yeah, you know, I mean, some of those things are natural. Like, if you do anything creative, like, for example, if you write all the time, like, you might get tired of your own writing. And it does happen. It does happen. Hearthstone is so dead. Well, yeah, actually, well, what I got into was, uh, on that note, I got into Magic the Gathering because uh, I just enjoy that I get to physically get out more, especially after 2020, and spend more time with people. I don't know why I'm avoiding eating this meat so much. I think I'm just going to get it. There we go. Uh, I want to give myself options again. But, yeah, ideally, like, I don't know, like, my local group of friends I play with, we just play, uh, we play, like, Dominion. Catan, stuff like that. It was good. Moving was a trip, but uh, I've had a good experience with that. Okay, we will probably get Vandalier from this. Dream Quest. There were uh, there's a number of stuff. Yeah, no, well, that's the luxury. I mean, I feel like uh, a couple years ago, I felt like, oh, I've got to make a video today. But now it's kind of like I can give stuff more time. Like, for example, the Spore video that I did recently really felt like I got to give that an honest amount of time and just something I uh, I wanted to do for a while so I, I don't know I'm I'm in a blessed position I'm grateful for you guys though that's what I'm saying it's it's kind of nice just to be able to do both things too like to be able to stream other stuff uh, that's just you know like stuff that I try out casually and then also to uh, do you know stuff that I think is more like narrative based but I definitely uh, like it works different muscles you know what I mean works different muscles. I don't really think that work is the right way to put it, though, because it's like, uh, uh... There is some effort in it, but it is also just plain fun. Yeah. But whoever thought that, like, philosophical game commentaries would have, uh, been interesting... Ah, oh, Rune Tracer, I have searched for you so long. So long. How do I rise up like an amphibian species? You just gotta, you know, evolve a little bit. Hey, Tysker, thank you for gifting the sub. I'm gifting the sub to Baphomet Seinfeld. Ah, Seinfeld. Yeah, a lot of, you know, I watched uh, Uber Danger's review on Spore on that note. I thought he did a really good job on that. I think he hit the nail on the head. It's a great, great game as like a tech demo, but it's not very good for long-term play. Hopefully they'll remake it, though, one day. Or somebody will. There's another game that's based on it, or... Came around? Out around the city? I don't honestly know. It's called Thrive, though. You might see that on the channel. I hope a lot more of these things kind of pick up some steam. It's kind of the whole theme of my channel, is stuff that's slightly nostalgic. Like, I wanted to do Roller Coaster Tycoon. Still might see that video. Okay, yeah, we've got an awkward spot right here. Let's just focus on this. Okay, we've got a big boss man coming in. 
I somewhat think that the Vandalier makes the combination of Ebony Wings and Pichon slightly weaker for a, like a minute. Because like stuff is getting through. I I don't like that at all. Man, this guy's got a lot of health care. Ah, oh, no. Maybe I need to stand right up to him with the wand. There we go. Good. I think we, we're at our full build. So Okay, good. We don't really have to think about that anymore. We just have to focus on upgrading the evolved items. And it looks like we left a couple of red things over there. Nice, nice. Uh, I'll also take the Rune Tracer. Yeah. Rune Tracer is second best. Not what I wanted, but okay. Factorio is the one. Ah, Factorio. Did you see all the news on Factorio's expansion? Actually, pretty happy with it. I don't know. Like, 22 has uh, a lot of interesting games. There was one that I really want to look into. Um, and, you know, I think anybody who starts off with a YouTube channel kind of wants to do variety. And I think I got stuck to a niche there for a while. But I'm, I'm happy that I get to do more variety. It's not a lot of my friends that get to do variety. A lot of people are just stuck doing one thing all the time. But I'm, I'm grateful for that. There's another game coming out called Sweet Transit. That kind of reminds me of Factorio combined with, like, open TTD. And it looks super neat. I want to try it out. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I think the plan for this year is similar to last year. I just want to try out a lot of stuff on the VOD channel. And then kind of bring it back to the main channel as time goes on. See what people like. Hey, Epic Perez. Thanks very much for the sub. Factorio is a... Yeah, Factorio is... Uh, I, I think it's well worth the price, though. Games like RimWorld and that. The one that a lot of people uh, will say to me on the stream because they haven't seen it is RimWorld, but well worth the money. Uh, also, you don't you probably shouldn't buy the expansions if you're first buying it. Okay, now we've got new enemies, new bosses. Whole new flavors. Let's taste their flavors together, everyone. Um, Rune Tracer would be good, but we want to upgrade this Fire Wand ASAP just because we need to get the upgraded versions of these weapons. All right, it looks like I'm going to get another level and the chest. Ah, triple chest all the way across the sky. Did I ever consider start? Oh, Dyson Sphere. You guys are naming great games, but... The, you know, I used to, like, be worried that I couldn't do a lot of... <laughs> I would look at the number of games and I would be like, Ah, I'm never going to get to them all. But it's nice because it's like years of stuff that I could still do ahead of me. And Star Sector, the fact that you guys are interested in Star Sector, even, like, years after it... I don't know, had its big traffic spike. I think with the Seth video was its biggest time. Um, but now there's like a big update to the game, right? I don't know. Just, uh, I, I, I have a very nice audience. My subscribers are some of the best subscribers on YouTube because they're open to new experiences, you know? I have a friend who all that he can really do is like, uh, he plays uh, either like Minecraft or Fortnite and it's just... It's like, yeah, there's a lot of views on stuff like that, and that's great. But it's also like, if he tries to do anything else, he even tried to do Call of Duty, and he just couldn't, he couldn't make it happen. So he had to keep doing that. But no, you know, we can kind of enjoy this, like, this great concoction that this game is. What the hell is this game? Where did it come from? Where is it going? Ah, that's good. And yet if I play a lot of this, I, it does start to feel very much the same to me. But that's that's kind of true of everything. Okay, Vandalier. There's nothing else we need to... Uh, I would kind of rather get Vandalier before I start going upgrading other stuff. Just because Vandalier is just so OP. Yeah, you just roll into the stream. What am I watching? Yeah, out of context, this game is crazy. Yeah, the new experience is what I'm here for. Yeah, exactly. Pause. Now I will do this. I'm going to turn off all of the effects. And I'm actually going to turn down the volume slightly because I feel like my head is starting to explode. Okay, I'm going to stand still. I like to do this a little bit in each run because I just witness how good everything is. What is our, our rune tracer isn't even at... Wow, it's, it's only like halfway leveled up. And look at how much there's already on this. Man, that has got to have a great build. You know, as they add in more items to the game, just the builds that you can get are starting to increase. This is what I mean when I say that despite the fact that, you know, the interest in the game might be at the level of 
how fast content can be released. Like, this is such an interesting formula because every new item added exponentially increases the possibilities. I feel like I'm in a math class when I'm playing this game. Like a, like a middle school math class. And we just learned about something you know, very interesting. Um, uh, such, a, such an unusual 12-year-old I was. <laughs> very interesting new fact, teacher. Uh, what, what new factoids will you wet my palate with today? That would be that would be what I would have said, um, uh, among other among other things. Ah, uh, here we go, giant wizard. Now we aren't seeing how much damage we're doing to him, which is not as good, but uh, we are doing damage to him. Yeah, it's like a card game adding new cards. You know, one of the reasons why Slay the Spire gets so interesting as you keep playing it is because the game adds a couple of interesting new cards. And the exponential possibilities are multiplied. I said that wrong. Well, you know what I meant. Oh, whoops, I think I took the wrong thing, but it doesn't make a difference now. Not really. Uh, what are we at? 25, 38? I haven't even really noticed time going by in this because it's... It's been such a different playthrough and I've been so interested in the new surroundings. But these are kind of like the, uh, the inlaid library enemies superimposed on this. Okay, good time for an orb. We'll get the max level Vandalier just for the memes. I wonder if we'll even get the full upgrade by the end. We had made it to uh, that level before, but... I'm like the Battle Pope, guys. This is super badass. Interesting. Question of the player characters, the vampire survivors. Yeah, I don't really know why they named that this game its name. I don't think it really describes what is going on in the game. I guess, like the characters that you play as are the vampire survivors like they've survived the vampires but where are the vampires i assume that these are like the minions sent by the vampires but that is as far as i will wager my explanation because i, I really don't want this to ever be quoted and just look really stupid uh about why vampire survivors is called vampire survivors but that's my fanfic that's my fanfic and I still don't have the uh, upgraded fire. All right, so I assume that in the next couple minutes we'll start to see the bad bats. The bad bats. I'm surprised though that we didn't get more multi chests because we're supposed to have 10% more luck, right? What do we have as luck? 40% luck, okay, fair enough. And we didn't do the cross. The big boss, well, we've already hit all the big bosses. I think one thing that this game could keep doing is just upping the difficulty, but we still have to get past the final boss and be revived. So that's more content, you know? Yes, some of the survivors are vampires, so maybe they're kind of like going through this identity crisis like Soma Cruz from Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, where they are Dracula, but they're trying to defeat Dracula because they need to overcome the demon within themselves. You know what I mean? I could have left that boss alive. Now I'm still waiting for that ultimate version. Oh, here it is. Good. I'm fine. That should be our last upgrade. What is this thing called again? Hellfire. Ah, that must have been made for Drunk on Life. Oh, hell yeah. We have another chest in the upper right. Thank you. I'm going to use this orb thing, and then I'm going to go back up to that. Dear God, I can't see anything. And I think I've already turned off all the effects. Yeah, so that's as good as it gets. Ah, yes, there it is. There's the chest. My god, it's impossible to see. Oh, I walked into you. That could have been death. Alright, let's just take her out fast. Come on. Die. Man, I feel bad. I'm leaving behind so many red gems. Come on, Vandalier, get her. There we go. Okay, we got her, so that's one chest. 25 coins, it's something. We get more. And then where, I can't even see it on the ground. Oh, there it is, it's still further up to the right. Come on, man. Damn it, when am I gonna, get? might not even be worth it to go to this chest, but I think we are getting, oh, there it is, good. Nice. Ooh, at long last. All right, I'm standing, I'm standing. I have another minute left. 
think we have 150% gold bonus, but now is where we make most of the coins, I believe, in these last couple of minutes. I would be surprised if I die, because this is about as powerful a build as I could think of. There might be something a bit stronger out there. But it's good. It's good. And the reason, again, why I'm not at the max level or anything, I still have to get all the upgrades. Okay, there we go. That uh, that was kind of a boss guy. Let's go consume that sponge thing just for the last minute of damage. Not sure if it'll make such a difference here, but yeah. Okay, at least we get to get the last of the red orbs. More coins. My god, yeah, but as you can see, like, there is a weak point in this build in that you could just walk into somebody and face plant into them. Oof. Big coin bag. Okay, there we go. It does it doesn't really seem as if it's getting more difficult. I'm gonna stand still for 20 seconds Okay, starting to see the power of this freeze ray because it freezes the whole first row of enemies and That actually prevents everybody else from getting to me Which is not that bad um, There we go. It kind of keeps me safe and I yeah, I don't take damage if I'm touching them either. Interesting. Okay, so the whole screen turned red. All right, uh, 30... Ah, really kind of a low amount of gold to have earned. Uh, Vandalier is the MVP again. Much as expected, but...